Hello guys. All right. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to validate that password and confirm password fields match. Okay. I'm going to show you how to validate that confirm password and password field match. So Flutter Flow provides um, a different form of validation. But as of the time of recording this um, tutorial, the, there is no validation that um, helps you to confirm uh, if the password and password text uh, fields okay too much, especially if you are building sign up. So if you are building sign up, you would like um, the user to put the user experience that will help the user to confirm um, password. Okay, why do we? Have confirmed password so that you'll be sure that the user actually knows the password that he or she must have entered before creating an account all right so the first thing we are going to do here is that we're going to create a blank project okay so once you log into Flutter Flow you can create, just create a blank project so I'm going to call the name of my project my app all right so click on create blank project I'm going to leave everything like that just skip all right so here we are uh, because of time I'm not going to build a sign up page all right I'm just going to um, grab this sign up page okay from Twitter flow page templates all right so here we are so I'm going to use this I need this so I'm going to design it I'm going to use this yes yeah, so then uh okay yes my team all right so if you want to rename it you can just do that here but i don't want to i can just create a page all right so this is what we have um uh, assuming this is what we are building and you are building a, a sign up page that's create account page uh, we want the user to create account by entering the email password and then um, confirm password okay we want the user to confirm that the password entered here matches with this one. So I'm going to do something here so that once the user and start entering password here, it's there will be a prompt, an error prompt below here. I will display the password doesn't match. It will keep on checking that the password, the two password match. Okay, once the password match, the error message becomes go. So that's what we want to do now. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a variable. Okay, we're going to create a variable in the page. So we need a variable so we can update the state of uh, the password match. So once the password matches, want to update it, it's going to be a boolean. So once the password matches, update it true. Or once the password are not matching, we update it to false. So to do that to create a state variable, a page variable. Okay, what you are going to do is just click outside the screen and then come over here. So this is the state management for the page where you manage the state. And you need to create a local page variable. So just click on the field and then um, you can give it any name, but I'm going to give it password match. All right. So what type of variable will it be? It's going to be, a, I want it to be a boolean. It's a boolean, it's a type of variable that is either true or false, all right? So yes, I want it to be nullable. I can set this, let me see. The initial field here, so let me just set this. So if you are done doing that, the next thing we are going to do is to create the error message here. We are going to use a conditional builder. So conditional builder is a base, element that flow okay that helps you conditionally show a particular widget component based on a condition so you can scroll down here to find a page builder or you can just search for it up here so i'm going to search for conditional okay? so i'll drag it and put it i want the conditional builder to be under here all right so, so we'll come over to the properties so conditional builder has um two like the if then and the else okay 
So we are going to put the condition here. Then what it will show if the condition is true up here, and then if the condition is false, what it will show down here. So the condition is the page states. Okay. So if the page, the password match, which is the variable created that keeps the status, okay, is true. Okay, it shows a component here. Else, it shows the component here. All right, it shows the component here. So here, I'm going to come out here and um, click on my properties. So you scroll down here, you see the conditional view that so it has if and then. So whatever I want to show, if the condition is true, put it here. So I, I don't want to show anything. I just uh, because you must put a widget, a component, um, you can't leave this empty even if you don't want to show anything when the password matches. So well, yeah, I will just add a container and then um, come down here and make the just make it one the width one pixel, the height one pixel. So this will just make the container kind of non visible. So because I need something to show. So it's going to show like this so the, comp the container won't be visible then if the password does not match it should show the error so i'm going to click here and um, i'm going to click here to add a placeholder <clears throat> all right i'm going to come over here and click here all right so um i'm going to add some down here and then look for row i want to add a text box a text field here yes i want to click on the row so i can customize the placement all right so i'll add you first then inside the row i click here i'll add a text all right so something like this so here i can customize my text so here i want to it to be password Does not match. Okay, and um, I want it to. Be, I want to reduce this. It's too big, so we can reduce it a little bit size, and probably change the text color to error. Okay, all right. So I think that's that's fine. I would like to do. And you can give it a better size if you want. You can give it a border size if you want. Um, I'll do that with the body. We are going to add an action. So the next thing we have you can do is to add action on the confirm password. So here, so what we want is that when the user is typing in here, you want to be checking what the user is typing. Okay, you have to be checking if what the user is typing here. Is the same thing as what is up here so whenever it's true want to date the password match that variable created so that will take up this okay so to do that just click on password and then go to action action so i'm going to open an action um, editor and i want the action to occur on change so what that means is that whenever you type any character inside the password the confirm password field it will check the condition okay so click on condition so the condition i want to check is basically single condition so i select single condition so i want to check um, the first value is going to be the password so i go to widget states and get the password then I want to check if is equal to the second one is going to be the confirm password. So what user is entering in the confirm password? So I'm going to get that value from the widget states of the confirm password. All right. So once you are done, just hit confirm. If the password is equal to a confirm password, all right. So I should add an action. And what action do I want to add? I want to update the state, the variable. So I go to state, it's under state. 
that is your update page state. So click on update page state, then add the variable. Okay, yes, password match. Sorry, <laughs> that's what I want to update. So select that, and you need to yes set value. So if it is if it is true, I okay, should set it to true. Like if this password matches the confirm password, I should set this to true. Then I should that should be all for the true. I should terminate this. And then else if it is false, I should do the same thing. Set the page state to false. Yes, match password match. Then change it to set value and then false. So if you don't want, of course we want um, the page to be reviewed. So that's actually why we do this. Okay, so that should be, I think that should be all for the action. So I'm going to terminate this and then close this. All right, so the next thing we have to do at this point is to probably check what we've done. Okay, so let's test it. All right, so click on test mode. Okay. Right, so this is what we have. So you can just type email. Let's say John Doe. Okay, at gmail.com. Then password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so here okay. one, two, three. So as you can see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if you notice, it's um, actually kind of delaying. Okay, it's not it's not fast. There is a delay, so we're going to sort that out. All uh, right, so it's working. It's working. So it's actually this. Okay. So there's a delay, so we're going to sort out that delay now. Um, let's come back here and solve that out. And also, there are, there are a few things. Um, when there is error, okay, when there is error, this borderline still shows blue. We want it to show red, okay. Even when you click out of it, you also want it to show red, showing that it has an error, okay. And then we're also going to fix this delay. Okay, the error usually appears um, some seconds, some minutes, some microseconds later. Okay, all right. So to do that, first of all, we go to confirm password. Yes, come to properties, and then if you scroll down here, scroll down, 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 you should see. Uh, yes, so you should see update delay we're going to put the delay to 500 all right so 500 should uh, make it to be a bit faster and then we also have to change the border color so we'll scroll down to border color all right so here border color i want to make it show the error okay when the password matches that is when the variable created which is password match okay is true okay let it show this color else let it show the error color so we'll do that for the other color we'll do that for focus other color so so do that we just click here and then click on condition all right so if then we set the condition the condition is going to be Page states, yes, page, yes, page states. If it is true, you should, you should use this color. Um, I think that should be the primary background color. Okay, then else you should show like this. This is false. You should use the error color. Okay, confirm. So do the same thing for focus color too. So if it's, it's um, Conditional into conditional. So if the page states 
password match is true, it should use the normal color, which is the primary. Okay, this color. All right, so else she use the error color. That's else if this is false, meaning the password that no match you should use. Yeah, click on confirm. All right, so let's try it again. So come over here and uh, do instant reload. All right, so let's also test again. So, so one, you can see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's fast now. And that is it for building a sign up page with confirm password. So, this is how to validate that what your password and confirm password feels much. Please do well to subscribe and let me know if you have any um, difficulty in Twitter flow. And, um, I'm going to jump in and probably create a video to address your, your issue. All right, please make sure you subscribe and you like the page. Let's, let me hear if there's other way you have been able to solve this in the comment section. Thank you.